In this video, I'm going to show you how to use variables and an expression to dynamically modify the Excel worksheet name, start row, and start column at runtime. I'll be showing this using CozyRock's Excel Destination Plus component. So the package is all configured to use static values or fixed values right now. So I'm going to show you how to add expressions that use variables to modify those properties at runtime. So I'll start with the execute SQL task to read in the values that I have in a SQL Server table. And we'll set result set to single row. Everything's in the same row. We're using a connection type of OLEDB, and our connection manager is already set up. Our SQL source type is direct input, and I have already prepared the select statement. There it is. It's reading in worksheet name, start row, and start column. And now we go over to set up the relationship between the column names from SQL Server and the variables that we want to put those in. So we need to add a row for each of the column names and properties. So we'll start with worksheet name and now we'll choose the proper variable for that which of course is worksheet and then we'll add another row and this one is we'll name uh, start row that's the name of the column in SQL and of course the variable for that is start row and we'll add one more row and this will be start column and that's the correct variable for that one so that's all set up and now we'll just connect the green arrow to feed that into our data flow now I'm going to go over to the data flow canvas and here we're reading in the data from a SQL Server table and we're writing it to Excel. And to modify those three properties, we right mouse click on the canvas for the data flow. Make sure you're in the data flow because you won't get to the properties um, that we want to modify if you're on the control flow canvas. So we go down to properties and here you can see the three properties that we want to modify and we need to set things up with the expression using the expression property or parameter so we'll choose the uh, start column because that's the one at the top and now we'll set up the expression which is basically just going to be using the start column variable. And there we evaluate it. And now the next one is start row. And uh, we'll just set that up to use our start row variable. Evaluate it, that's good. And then for the last one, it's the worksheet. And we'll choose our worksheet uh, variable there and evaluate that. All right. So now we're basically done setting up the package. I'm going to save it and execute it. All right, I've set up a breakpoint, and there in the watch list, you can see the variables now contain the values that were obtained using the execute SQL task. And we'll just complete execution, and that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching this video.